Hi everyone, Danny again. So um, here I am in um, Newfoundland, Canada, the eastern part of Canada, and I just wanted to show you what you could call is an abandoned Walmart. Well, it's 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 a, it's a now um, closed Walmart forever, you could say. So this Walmart is a little interesting because it's not like you know those abandoned videos where places have been closed for abandoned for like 10 years. This Walmart is a little different because um, this is a relatively new Walmart like in this city and um, it was oh there was all there was already another one in the city and then they opened this one just a few years ago um, as an extra one and for some reason for some reason um, this Walmart is now um, closed and abandoned and closed permanently, right? It wasn't that long ago that I came in here. Um, so you can still see all of the Wal the Walmart blue, the Walmart blue brand um, stuff, right? Um, here, trying to zoom in a little bit. I don't know what they're trying to do with it. If they're trying to, um, turn it into something else or if they're still in the process of um, if they're still in the process of um, emptying it out see those that's definitely where the cash was and that's still pretty uh, pretty much there right I'm not sure if it was still open during the pandemic which was like a year and a half ago um, here you can see, um, you know, they have the, the, the enter signs. They want you to enter here. They want you to exit here, right? During the pandemic, there's all these new enter and exit signs. They want you to, you know, go in and come out at a, at a, at a certain spot. So I'm not sure if, if this was still open during the pandemic or not. Let's see if I can get a better look at, at all the caches here. Yeah, that's where all of the, the cash the, 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 the cashiers were. So yeah, that's still pretty uh, pretty there. And actually I do see the plastic um, the plastic things that people put on for pandemics. Um, those were those would have not been placed there unless there was a a pandemic purpose. So it must have been open during the pandemic. Um, yeah. And then this sign here says, what does that say? Video under surveillance or something like that, right? Yep. It's still, uh, and all of the this the stuff that they're packaging that looks pretty new. I don't really know what that is. If they're trying to, um, if that's a new store moving in or see, like that packaging there. See the uh, the scan thing for for scanning to see if you you stole anything. That's still intact there some some uh, carrots and stuff like that and the notorious you know all Walmarts are very well lit with very well lit ceilings right let's just see the outside of it a little bit see here we had the um, the autumn the autumn these were the automatic doors, the normal doors, automatic doors right there. And yeah. And a little bit of a view from the outside further perspective. And 
we can see the blue, the big blue sign, the big blue sign. The Walmart logo isn't there, but that's definitely the big, the big blue sign. And uh, yeah, typical. Actually, this um, this Walmart store it actually used to be a Zeller store. So you remember Zellers? So just before Walmart moved into this place a few years ago, this used to be a Zeller store. I just want to show you a little bit of the building. Yeah. And down there where I'm pointing at right now, that's actually Solby's grocery store. So that's been there for, for a very long time. That's still there. They're very healthy and doing well. Um, but their neighbors, um, Walmart, for some reason, Walmart always does well, but for some reason, they're, they're not in business anymore. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.